Anyways, welcome to another video. This will be a different type of video. It will be about rating every mirror matchup on Advanced Wars via web by their fan. This is a totally not biased tier list. For example, many people will argue that Kindle mirror is kind of obnoxious and not fun. So, I will give my opinion on that and rate her on the terms of best, amazing, very fun, still fun, meh, and just no. As you can see, there are only two bad um, tiers. Still fun is still fun, it's just that the CEOs don't add any fat to it, they even substrate fun, but the game is still fun, you know what I mean. Anyways, let's use a street jump to to the video. So anyways, let's start with the first uh, CEO, Other. I think Other Miro, uh, like Other, is really fun matchup, it's really, it's just very simple. Very straightforward, very simple concept, but still very fun. I will put it on amazing, in my opinion. Andy. Okay, Andy um, mirrors are not as fun as playing Andy, but I think they are still very fun because Andy lacks. Mm, huge firepower bonuses, so he will um, probably um, lack the enough power to one hit KO or sometimes to hit KO the, um, the enemy units of enemy Andy. And there will be a lot of hell units, which is what Andy wants. So I would put it here. Amazing. I would normally rate Andy as best, but a normal Andy match playing as Andy and against Andy, but uh, a Miro, I think it's a little less. Calling Miro, I have no clue. I have never played a Calling Miro, but to be honest, uh, both players being absolutely rich, uh, and when both players are playing a an OP, an overpowered CEO, anyone is. No one is overpowered, right? So I will rate it very fun, but I should have tried. Anyways, Drake. I think Drake is a fun CEO to play, but not as fun to play against. Uh, if you are both playing against Drake, but playing as Drake, uh, it's very funny, but maybe it will. Mm, I don't know. Some people doesn't enjoy to to get injured by global damage. So I'm think I'm gonna put it on a still fan. Eagle. Eagle mirrors I think makes Eagle even more fun. Just because the game ends whenever a super sea power pops. Probably the and the first Eagle who pops the superpower either comes back into the game or uh, decides the game. I have played um, a couple of Eagle Mirrors, in one in Standard and one in Fog, and I enjoyed them a lot. So I will put it in best. I normally would put Eagle on Amazing because it's a really, really fun CO to play as. But not as fun to play against whenever the lightning strike pops. But when both are playing again uh, as eagle, I think it's super fun. Anyways, flag, just no, lag CEO. <laughs> I don't like CEOs with lag. Sorry, I just don't enjoy them. I don't find them funny. I'm sorry. No, just no. Grim. Grim mirrors? <laughs> Come on. It's like a recon versus recon on roads on this 
matchup, Miro is almost a one shot. If you are using a super power or a power, I think is a one shot. I would throw there the calculations. Grim is very funny and very fun to play as, but and to play against. But if both players are playing Grim, it's double funny and double fun. So I think there is no question. Grim Miro is the most fun. Grit, Grit Miro, Grit. It's an ICO to play as and against, but when playing against the same CEO, grid vs grid, is not very fun. Just for the sake that how grid plays. Grid plays an indirect. And if you play against other indirect spammer, it will become an indirect war. And an indirect war is just no fun. But I still think that it's not just completely fun. It's a bit silly, but I think it deserves me. Anyways, Hachi. I have played Hachi I think once against some new players uh, on a 1v3 map, but that's it. Um, I mean, Hachi is the most broken CEO of all of them, just for, uh, for the sake of being able to build so many units on cities, it's map dependent, if there is no cities you can use your superpower, but come on, in any normal uh, advanced world via web map it will be cities. So I think see, uh, he is fun to play, not as fun to play against, and one against each other, it's, I think it's the same level of calling. Whenever uh, both players are overpowered, the, the CEOs they are using, no one is overpowered. Hug. I think Hug is fun to play as, not as fun to play against, but whenever you are playing against Hug as Hawk, I don't think it's very fun. I would rate it meh, but the day to day allows to to secure hit KOs on cities tank two tank on one tank so I think that's pretty neat also with infantry and also you can use your powers to secure some hit KOs there is some strategy so I think it's not very fun but it can be fun so yeah anyways Jake, Jake Miro. Jake Miro, it's a bit silly. I think playing Jake is amazing, and playing against Jake is not as fun because, yeah, it's not fun getting blasted but, uh, by a two plus movement tank boosted on planes, but I think it's fun to play against him regardless. But when you are playing, it's a bit silly matchup. I don't know. I'm not sure. It's very volatile. Whenever you, mm, I don't think it's very fun. I think it's still fun. But yeah, it's just like whenever you pop your power, all tanks are all over the place. There is no much sense to it. It's mm, maybe a too chaotic for my taste. But anyways, Javier matchup. I think uh, the Miro is amazing. Why? Because playing against other Javier as Javier is either a no C, uh, no towers map, so both players are fine. But if it's um, a one tower, it's completely fine. Two towers, completely fine. I mean, it will become more silly and silly. But both players are overpowered and playing as Javier feels amazing. Playing against, against Javier doesn't feel as much fun though. But if both players are Javier, I think it's pretty fun. And the funny com towers interaction, if one player is able to steal one com tower, etc., they add as uh, HQs almost. So I think it's pretty fun. It's amazing in my opinion, so I will leave it here.
there. Yes, uh, Miro. I think yes, it's very fun to play uh, as, very fun to play against. Uh, playing as yes, maybe a bit not that as fun because having weaker infantry sometimes is just painful. But if both players have uh, weakened infantry, it's not that painful. Still, you will struggle to get two hit KOs on infantry on cities. Like, for example, if you have one comp tower and the power activated, you will have 110% uh, firepower, which will allow a chance of 33% more or less to hit KO that. Um, to two hit KO the infantry on city with two infantries, but I think it's very fun. It's like budget max, but with good artillery, not good um, air. So I think it's very fun. Jagger, the same as flag, but worse. Just no. I'm sorry. No. Cambay. Okay. Kambe is very fun to play as, not as fun to play against because the defense and it's all those things are kind of silly. But when you are playing against Kambe, you are probably using a tier CO, um, so it will be not as painful. I think a uh, Kambe uh, mirror can be silly. So I think it's still fun, but I don't know, it seems too silly. Kindle. <sighs> okay, Kindle Mirror is terrible. Uh, it's just, you are stronger on cities, but you do Urban Blight, but enemy does Urban Blight and is stronger on cities, it's just dancing nonsense. I could put it on meh or maybe just no. I don't think it's that terrible. So I would leave it here on just meh. But I think she's very terrible. Okay, Koal Mirrors. I think playing as Koal is not as fun as playing as other, just for the sake that uh, you are not able to spam your CEO power. But you have your firepower bonus. But uh, still, that doesn't compensate the fact that you can expand your CO power so much. Uh, so I think it's still very fun, but not as fun as others, so I will put it one tier below. Lash. Lash is very fun to uh, see to play as and, and against. Maybe playing as Lash sometimes can be not as fun because you will feel the lack of powers, but whenever you pop your superpower and you are able to do a cheese on the HQ etc can be funny and fun so I would put her as very fun on a mirror matchup I think it's amazing it's just yeah both uh, players have huge firepowers on day to day and eventually they will get powers to use so I think it's an uh, amazing matchup. Max. Max is an amazing CO to play as and an amazing CO to play against. He has a very clear weakness which is indirect. He has a very clear strong um, aspect and I think playing as, as Max uh, and against Max would be amazing. Like. A very dynamic and no indirect stalling matchup would be just amazing. Nell. Nell is a Laxio, so I could not rate her higher than this. But the good thing about Nell than this two has no is that she has not bad luck. And bad luck is just terrible. Because it's just You can either do 2 million damage or, or minor one. And it's like, that's no fun. That's, what the hell? 
I want to know more or less how much damage I will do. Come on. But Nell, yes, he has, uh, she has a lot of lag involved, RNG, but still, it will uh, make the difference to do 1 HP of damage, 2 HP of damage on day to day, and the CO power or the super CO power, yeah, it will become a little silly. But the fact that it's just normal lag, I think puts her normal lag, uh, positive lag, um, puts her just above just no tier. Anyways, Olaf. I think Olaf is amazing CO to play as. I think it's not as fun to play against because the no and global damage is really hard to deal with. But I would put him on very fun. Um, the problem comes here with a mirror, a mirror Olaf matchup. A mirror Olaf matchup is meh. I love Olaf, but I just don't like Olaf mirror matches. Like, uh, your powers become just minus two um, global damage. There's no becomes irrelevant, uh, your CO power becomes irrelevant, uh, yeah you have uh, my uh, plus 10% attack and defense but come on, and you would rather get the um, global damage. And also, the, the thing is whenever you are doing a, a Olaf mirror, the one that is losing will probably get the superpower first and it will slow the flow of the match so it will become slower for whoever who is winning to win is uh, it's just meh i love to play as olaf and i think it's still fun to play against olaf but it's just meh uh, an olaf mirror anyway rachel i think it's very fun to play as, again uh, as Rachel, and it's very fun to play against. You have to to use the move planner to know where to miserate the units. It's really fun, but when you are playing on a mirror matchup, I think they are still very fun. Like it's not like each power cancels each other. The problem is, I would uh, rate it still fun. It's because if the map is divided by north and south, the south Rachel, the bottom Rachel, will have an advantage, a slightly one, which is um, the way that the um, infantry missile works. Because infantry missile will uh, read the map uh, from top to left, and whenever, uh, sorry, whenever it finds a group of infantry uh, nice to, to shoot at, it will stop there and it will not count for um, the, um, the, uh, the friendly fire. And top uh, Rachel will get more self, self harm than the bottom Rachel. So it's a matchup when one player has an advantage against other in a mirror. So it's a minor disadvantage you can play around it but it's still a disadvantage I think it's very fun it could be very fun if there is um, if there is no interaction with this but I think this makes it only still fun anyways Sammy I think Sammy it's a very fun CO to play as I hate to play against Sammy but in a mirror matchup, uh, I never had a semi mirror matchup, but I think it's kind of silly because both CEOs are unable to stop caps unless they have two uh, units near. So in early game, there will be almost no interrupts, which I think is the most fun thing in the capture phase. So. Yeah, you are playing Sammy against Sammy. I think it's kind of funny. It's not just me, but 
but I would not rate it more than still fun. Shasha. Okay, Shasha is, I guess, very fun, still fun to play as. Isn't just me to play against her? Like, I mean, if you are playing a seal like Bomb Ball or Javier against Shasha, is very amazing to play against her because you smash her. But if you're playing uh, as Eagle, as Hulk, uh, it's just not fun. And Ashasa Miro is just silly. I think the the the, the thing that one um, like you have no real powers to use to actively win the game on a. Um, On an important matter like decisive um, way and it's just whoever pops first the seal power will have an advantage it's just silly I don't think it, I don't think it's very fun it's meh maybe I you could argue to put it in a still fun but I don't think it's very fun Miro mirrors are not famous for very for being very fun Okay, Hat, uh, Sensei. Sensei is an amazing seal to play as, not as fun to play against, but still I would put him or very fun, amazing. Probably very fun because it's not very fun to play against him. Uh, on a mirror of uh, Sensei's, I think it only uh, makes him better to play as, more fun, because if both players has uh, Hachi, there is no overwhelming feeling of oh my god, so many units because you already have uh, many units too. So it's a bit silly, funny, and very amazing to play as uh, in a mirror matchup. Sonia, okay, Sonia is just meh to play as Sonia. I'm sorry, having bad luck is terrible. Uh, it feels very nice to have extra vision, vision of forest um, on reefs and also the superpowers feel so nice to use also the counter uh, the counter attack whenever they attack you but the bad luck just feels so bad to use and it's still not fun to play not very yes yeah, it's still fun to play uh, against Sonia I mean it's, uh, it's fun not to die as easily because of her bad luck uh, but it's not cool to to get more damage on counter attacks it's not cool to have mm, less vision it's not cool to to not be able to attack on her superpower so i could rate her as mm, maybe a still fun or to play as and against very low still fun but on a mirror matchup i could rate it just me it's miserable use oh. okay a storm a storm is an best seal to play as and against so fun having no if he's allowed on tier one he's so nice to it's so fun to play recons no move penalty tanks no move penalty you can uh, set up rockets very nicely you can even set up missiles somewhat more uh, easier like yeah still for movement but for movement always so it's best to play as and against not as fun to play as but it's so fun to play as uh, I, I, it's not so fun to play against but very f fun to play as I would rate him best but on a mirror matchup I think it's kinda silly because both Zeus has uh, negative firepower and a lot of defense so I would rate it very fun it's very funny matchup uh, maybe a little tedious but it's very funny and whenever the super meteor happens it's boom it's, uh, I think it's funny matchup and can be fun anyways Bumble. I'm gonna trigger a lot of people. 
A lot of people could put Bumble on just no. I could mirror Bumble. I could put Bumble mirror on a steel fan. Uh, a lot of I <laughs> most of people would put him on just no because it's just not fun. It's just the real experience of Advanced Wars via yeah, uh, web. You have uh, no powers. You have some defense, and you don't get one to hit KO on tanks and cities, which is more f hello, which is more fun than anything. Yeah, it's not fun to not be able to kill it, but it's fun not being killed. So I think it's a positive uh, thing. Okay, my God, it's demanding attention. Come on. Oh yeah. Anyways, uh, I would put him on a steel fan because yeah, it's not super exciting, it's not super flashy, okay, I take it, I like to play as Bumble, but I can understand why it's not fun to play as Bumble, uh, but if you don't want a Bumble mirror, just don't pick Bumble, yeah, you will lose, but it's the way it is. It's the same as, as Sammy. Uh, I don't pick Sammy, even though if she is the best pick on that year. I don't find her uh, fun. Uh, so I just don't. Simple as that. Peace out.